Hey hula babes, it is Hoopsy Daisy here, back again with another educational video. Have you ever wondered how some people can hula hoop on their nose, even though their nose isn't actually that big? Well today, I'm going to tell you all about some surprising facts that you didn't know about hula hooping. Uh, keep that one on my butt. Bam, 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 bam. And then I'm just, oh, so dancing. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, this is really hard. We're gonna dive straight in with the question that you've all been asking me, which is, do I use weighted hula hoops? And although the answer is no, you'll be surprised to find out that weighted hoops are actually easier. Most beginner hoops are very big. Now I am a professional, so my hula hoops are very small. The reason why big hoops are better is because they are slower, more responsive. You can feel them on your body. You have so much more time to practice your timing and tricks. Ready? See how slow that is? I'm gonna show you a comparison with the smallest hoop I could find. I actually, oh, okay, come on out. Come on out, oh, oh, and you're going back there. No one's falling over today. This is the smallest hoop I have. This is me here looping with it. Oh, wow, I can't believe it's getting. Oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> so hard. Wow, this is quite good. Okay, and then I'm gonna try and do that same trick. Right, lift it up. Oh my gosh, I'm, <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that. I thought I was gonna get really wrong. But see how fast I had to move. Now, if I tried to like slow it down in any way, my hand would get caught up here and I wouldn't have time to get it up high enough. So then I get caught, which is why you see a lot of hula hoopers spinning with their hoops because this motion slows down the hoop. Where staying still is like this and like this. So surprising fact number one, to wrap that one up, bigger hoops are easier because they're slower and more responsive as you get better, but want smaller hoops because then you can do all of these off body tricks without hurting your arms because this is actually a little bit of a workout. Mm, okay, surprising fact numerous does. I need to get one of these hoops and I'm scared it's all gonna knock over. This is like, um, what's that game that people play with the pile? Jenga. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, please stop saying that. I'm sorry. Okay, cool, we're gonna do this again. See that pickup? Keep that one on my butt. Here we go. Uh. Okay, just just stay the still. Most hula hoopers only spin in one direction. Even though we are professionals, unfortunately, if we're gonna be able to do something in one way, we're not very motivated to train it the other way. Now, although I can do it the other way, it is hard work because I'm not used to it. And as soon as I let it drop to my knees, it's really hard. And I, and I, and I can't do anything very well at all, especially lifting up tricks. I'm like, this surprising fact is why so many professional hula hoopers actually have the weirdest muscle imbalances in our back. Because we're pushing it in one direction, this back muscle develops more than this back muscle. And for me, that meant that my spine got pushed out of line and I had a couple of years of painful injuries. Now I practice both directions. I'm, you know, healed and a peak of, of health. I'm a vision of health. Bam, 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 bam. Fire hoops. Surprising fact number three, I'm going to show you what a fire hoop really looks like. Whoa! <laughs> I got it. This is a fire hoop. Some of you may think that fire hoops are just hoops dipped in paraffin and set on fire. Now, while they are set on fire and dipped in paraffin, not in that order, we actually use individual wicks. Why is this wick bent? Does someone throw it? <laughs> we actually use individual wicks on our hoops like so. We'll use four dotted around and then we'll spin the hoop so it looks like it's on fire, but then we can still grab it. I actually very frequently get asked if I fire hula hoop in the comments. And the reason why I haven't posted it yet is because TikTok loves to ban me, but we are not on TikTok, we're on YouTube. So if you wanna see me hula hoop with fire, please comment below or just like this video and I'll use that as an excuse to make a fire video because I think you'll all really enjoy it. Fact number four, body type doesn't actually matter. I have so many people come up to me and they're like, oh, I can't hula hoop because I don't have the hips for it. I don't have the body for it. I'm not young and fit and able. And I'm like, dude, do that. It's not about size. It's about the hula hoop matching your body. Have you ever picked up a hula hoop in Walmart and tried to spin it around you and it just fucking drops? You know why that is? It's because it's small and shit. So what you really need is a hula hoop that matches your body type and then you'll be able to do it. And in the same breath, you don't need a big nose or a big butt to be able to hula hoop on them because it's all about the angle. The physics of hula hooping is that the hoop sticks to whatever's moving. So you need to be moving with the hoop 
in order for it to work. Notice how the hoop isn't actually on my butt, it's kind of on my lower back and my upper thighs. And then I'm just, oh, so it's dancing. Yeah, like that, but better. Now that would work better if I was naked, as some of you might already know, but because I'm wearing slidey, slidey pants for the Americans out there, as my leggings are slidey, it just doesn't stick to me in the same way. But in theory, eh, in theory, actually on my back and not my butt. And I know I mentioned nose hooping, so I'm gonna do a quick little demo. As some of you may see, I don't have the biggest nose, but all I have to do is get the angle perfectly right, and then I can spin it on my nose out without too much difficulty. <laughs> and the reason why it hurts is something that I'm gonna be revealing very shortly, <laughs> in about two minute, one minute in a second. I'll tell you why it hurt my nose. Fun fact, I used to get nosebleeds learning how to nose hoop because I was trying to learn with my weighted hoop, this bad boy over here. And I remember every time I lifted it up, it would like stab my nose piercing into the inside of my nose. And I'd be like, ah, ah, oh, oh no. And I'd get a nosebleed. But lesson learned, this is why we use little hoops for the more technical tricks. Now the most frequent question I get asked on telling people that I'm a professional hula hooper is, oh wow, how many hoops can you do on your body? And people often ask this question because they're trying to judge how good I am and they're like, well, if she can do loads of hoops then she must be really good because one hoop equals level one and two equals level two. But for surprising fact number five, I think more hoops is not actually harder. 50 hoops is easier than four hoops. And that's because when I'm doing four hoops, I'm going knees, waist, chest, hand and that is really hard to keep going but when i'm doing 50 hoops i'm just gonna be like like this on my body am i gonna show you me doing 50 hoops and to demonstrate i'm going to show you me spinning 50 hula hoops right now i actually don't know if i have 50 hula hoops but we're just gonna pretend that i do now the only limiting factor with spinning loads of hoops in your body is one torso size and two strength you've got to have good core engagement because if you don't then you're just gonna get pulled around and obviously i have quite a short torso as a five foot nothing hula hooper so i can only fit so many on my body also side note have you ever seen hula hoopers do like i don't know 50 hoops and then they lift one up and it looks like they're on a huge slinky fun fact they tie those hoops together that's why it looks so good is they just have 20 hoops touched together with a string and then they're like whoa magic trick but i'm going to show you actual skill by not tying mine together yeah even though it's actually quite hard when you hoop with hoops tied together okay 50 hula hoops let's go <laughs> i'm so strong i'm not going to do the big one and the small one because it's actually really hard if they're different sizes because they move at different speeds. So it's better to have them relatively the same size. These are so heavy. This is so heavy. I I wouldn't perform with, I wouldn't do my finale trick with this many hoops. I would maybe do it with like this many. We're going to count them real quick. How many it is, because I don't know. 2, 4, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46. Okay, so it actually is close to 50 hoops. I have 46 hula hoops right here, right now. They're gonna pull me over. But I, I stand my ground is that this is easier than splitting hoops on your body. This is definitely easier than some of my very technical tricks. It's just tiring. <sighs> but all you have to be is strong and stable. And we all know that as a British person, I am very strong and stable. <laughs> okay. 50 hoops, that was my low back. We're just gonna do it. I just need to get a couple of rounds. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, this is really hot. It's so easy. Yes. Stand your ground, Hoopsy. You are strong. You've got this. You've got this. We've got this together. On. That's pretty good. So easy. Walk in the park. We have two more facts to give you, and we're going to fire them quick time. First fact hula hoopers use grip tape, specifically grip tape that feels like Velcro. This is so that when we do our shoulder duck outs, the hoop sticks to us. It's not about skill, it's about cheat codes. This is actually why hula hooping on the butt is easier than you think because the hoop just grips. It just grippy. Yeah, that takes a little bit of skill. And the final fact of today's video is that LED hula hoops 
are really, really expensive. And you're like, oh, it's just an LED strip inside a hoop. I could make that cheaper, which I've heard so many times. But these Wi-Fi compatible DMX board programmable hoops that can be linked together via Bluetooth are worth a lot of money. And I have, how many do I have? I have eight of them, which means I spent a shit down of money on hula hoops, but you can find out how much they are in this video where I talk about how much circus gear actually costs me. And if you want me to demonstrate my LED hula hoops, please comment below. Thank you very much, because I'd really love to show you. But if you don't care, then I won't do it, because this is all about our relationship together. And if you don't love me, then I'm going to leave. <laughs> I don't mean that. I'm staying regardless. This is my stage. This is my video. I do what I want. Okay, I'm going to stop. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and congratulations if you made it this far. If you want more hula hoopsy hoopsy daisy action, if you want more of me, I did yoga in a skirt, skort technically, but I did yoga in it and it is cool because I'm like by a mirror. So if you just want to like enjoy, enjoy some, you know, PG yoga sessions, you should watch this video right here.